Do you know what someone said to me before though, and it really helped me? Perfectionists get nothing done. <laughs> like they, they actually don't because they want everything to be perfect. Just go, if you, you want all that, just do it. Like don't wait for things to be perfect because the time is always just now. Just throw yourself out there. Like sometimes my Instagram's a mess, girl. Like sometimes <laughs> it is a complete mess, but no one cares. Everyone just don't want it to be perfect. They just want to enjoy it. Um, so I'm Kaylee and I'm a presenter for Kiss Fresh in E4 and I'm a producer for Magic FM. I'm Charlie, I am a third year student at Westminster. I study radio and digital production and I'm also a producer at Rinse FM. So um, we've got questions. Yeah. So what advice would you give to someone thinking of pursuing a similar career to you? So I think networking is key. I think the term networking though, is a bit awkward. Like people think it's like, oh, I'm gonna queue for like 20 minutes at a networking event, ask for your email and then email you, ask for like a job. When it's not that, now it's like social media. So I feel like just follow people that work in the industry you wanna work in across all stations and just like watch their stories, reply, be like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And just really interact on a just human level to begin with. So how hard is it to look for a job after you graduate? So I had my interview for Magic on the same day I handed in my dissertation. I literally like put my dissertation in, jumped on the tube and had my um, interview for Magic and I got the job within like a week. I think, so for me, I can be like, hi, Eric, so you did. As long as you use your years wisely, like go and get experience, go and network, do your thing while studying. And obviously our course is brilliant because by the end you have to put together like a whole like profile and a website about what you've got up to and industry people you've met and this, this and that. So use that to really get experience and then it will be a lot easier. Start looking to jobs from the beginning and even like freelance work from the beginning. Like you can do freelance work while you're studying. You really, really can. So then once you've built all those contacts and experience, by the time you come out of university, it's literally like, OK, apply for a job and fingers crossed, you should get it. <laughs> I think the mindset that some people have about university is, OK, I'm going to do the three years at uni, just like do my degree, come out and then I'll just be handed a job. It don't work like that. You need to be thinking about the job literally from first year. Um, and I had that mindset and I'm blessed to say I've got a job straight away. Amazing. Do you enjoy studying in London? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I love being here. Um, my course mates have been lovely. Like the university general community is really nice. Um, and for me, I grew up here, so I already had friends here. But the thing is, they were all in their unis. When I came back, they were finishing all over, like in Nottingham and Northampton and places like that. Um, but for me, I don't know. Like I know, I know, like I know areas, but I also got to explore new areas. I never would have come to Harrow if it wasn't for um, the university. I would have just lived in my little bubble in Islington and just never left. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love it, and it's it's really close to everything and anything you'd need and freelancing is really amazing here, getting jobs here, amazing. I, I don't really think there's a, a different place than London you can go. Yeah, I think there is other cities that are like popping, but for what we do, yeah. London's where it's at really, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> so, did student radio help you? So student radio was like everything to me in university. So I do a show on Smith Radio. Won a few student radio awards, so I won Best Specialist Gold 2019, no, 2018, sorry. And then I won it again in 2019, and then I won Best Interview Gold and Silver. And from that, I ended up being offered to do cover shows on Radio 1, which is like legendary. And that was just so amazing. And then from that, I ended up doing cover shows on One Extra. And it just showed everything's kind of like a progress. And if you look right at the beginning of this whole like domino effect, it really started with student radio. So my final question for you, where do you see yourself in five years? 
I'd like to present more and step more into the spotlight because I think that's like really important but I think it's just been like building up confidence and I'm such a perfectionist it's like I want to know exactly how radio works before I'm like would be a face of a show because I'm like I don't know I'm just so in the details as a person do you know what someone said to me before though and it really helped me <laughs> I don't want to sound like difficult but perfectionists get nothing done like they they actually don't because they want everything to be perfect just go if you, you want all that just do it like don't wait for things to be perfect because the time is always just now just throw yourself out there like sometimes my instagram's a mess girl like sometimes <laughs> it is a complete mess but people just love the content they don't care they just want a good time like if you listen to like no signal which is an incredible station with a massive following now that literally launched in the pandemic sometimes their show isn't right it's not a, like top production value but no one cares, everyone just don't want it to be perfect. They just want to enjoy it. So, and even like dance music raves, yeah. is it perfect? <laughs> no, it's a hot mess, but we love it. So like, don't stress too much about being like, oh, I have to know this, I have to do this. Just do it. If that's truly what you want in your heart, just go out there, be great. You are amazing, just do it. Thanks. I'll gas everyone up, I'm like, just do it. <laughs> it was amazing. Um, thank you for answering my question. Thank you for answering mine. It's so good talking to you. I'm so glad that like the course is still popping, this university is still popping, and that you've had a good time. Honestly, I've had a great time. Thank you for everything that you've done for the course and for everyone as well. God, don't make me cry. <laughs>